Hello, welcome back to Building a House from Trees. This week's episode, I plan on showing some of the changes that are happening around here. Like for example, the plumbing, the sanding, the gas line that's coming, the layout of the kitchen down below. Um, starting to run electric. Well, I'm starting to lay out electric. I got a good friend uh, that I'm working with on the job site, Nate Smart, Smart Electric, anywhere in Southern Maine, look him up. Uh, he came by and did a walkthrough with me, kind of ran through the basics of where I need to start, and he's going to probably come by a couple more times, maybe once, I don't know, we'll see, but um, that's very exciting to have a professional like that, be able to swing by and kind of offer a hand like that. Um, we're doing a work trade. <laughs> so yeah, it's great. Um, it's a lot of work, I've been putting a lot of time in down here. Like I said, getting the nailers up was a royal pain, that took a kind of pretty much all weekend, chewed up my hands uh, as a result as well. Just a lot of nails poking around in places that I couldn't see, but um, yeah, positive stuff. I'm psyched. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I got some milling done. I got some slab being done. Uh, I'll probably throw that in the video too. And whatever else I get to in the next few days, few weeks, uh, we'll see. It's nice. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and stay fresh. So I'm building the pan, I'm going to frame in the tub, I think today, and I'm building the, uh, where the, the feet are going to sit. The feet are going to sit, the shipping, but the foot chewed up a little bit there, but the feet of the tub are going to sit up on these stands, and I leveled them all, um, so the water's level, water is nice to be level, it was pretty darn close anyway, but the, uh, the tub's going to sit up an extra four inches <coughs> from the floor. It's actually four inches, four and um, five eighths. Well, no, it's not. The five eighths is deleted by the tile that's going to be in here, but an extra four inches. <laughs> um, and the reason for that is I want to sit in the tub and kind of look out level and just to, it lifts it up a little bit. So it's a bigger step in there, which is fine for me. Um, other people I may have a little step stool. It may be fine for other people too. I'm, I'm not really sure, but um, you know, that's, that's okay. It'll be. It'll, it'll be comfortable to get in and out of it. Probably put a handrail here, uh, you know, a handhold or something here uh, on the side of the shower here. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna frame in, um, or just around this, I'm gonna frame in out of two by sixes, um, a little tub basically to hold in the um, sheetrock mud, you know, basically mud and compound. Essentially, I'm making a bed to put this in, so it's completely supported, so. All right. Shot me down, Lucille.
I got the garden cleaned up today. It's wicked windy. But got the garden cleaned up and planted some cover crops. Now back to some framing.
So for the corners of these uh, 22 degree, this, this door is on a 45, and I had to cut the 2x4. I did this was a little sample, but I had to cut the 2x4 with this little edge. And then this will go on the back, like so, and it gives it that profile. It matches that 22 degree. Well, that's the water closet all framed in. I got the door. Gives you an idea. I'll get the door framed in eventually, and oh, that's great. It's happening. Oh, and the evening is coming on. This is going to be the view out of the kitchen window. Ah. Oh. Oh, I love being up here. You can hear the rains on the roof. Once the insulation's in the roof, that'll that'll be different, but I love it. I love this time of year so much. The birds are calling, and uh, just the changes, the changes that are happening. They're lovely changes. Um, there's growth, new growth. Green, green is coming up in between the cover crop there, um, in between the rows. It's, it's just really nice. I'm gonna be spreading Spreading fertilizer soon. Um, you can see some of the cover crop coming in down there and it's, it's, it's just greening up really nicely. I'll let that grow for a little while then I'll till it in. But yeah, it's, it's great. I love the changes at this time of year and the changes that are happening. And so all types of positive changes. Oh, look at that crow down there. Look at him go, there he goes. Down by the little apple tree. I don't know if you can see it, a couple of them. Might be a raven, no, those are two crows. They're just big crows. I still gotta drag that big pine away. So yeah, it's uh, the last little holdout of snow. And other than that, it's all new. It's all green and it's all fresh. All right, boy, look, there's a lot to see here. Oh, I really like this. That on a rainy Mar uh, April afternoon. Look at the red buds of the red maple out there. God, it's gorgeous. But to sit in this tub with the window open on a rainy, cold afternoon like this, that's gonna be blissful. I really, really like the, the shower and the bathroom in here. It's a little tight, but um, I think it's gonna work just fine. Plumbing, plumbing works. Inspection passed, huzzah. Oh, very good, very good. Work to be done still. I think you're downstairs. Couldn't sleep past 2.45 the other day, so I got up and I came down here and I organized and cleaned. I like the tilt there. Uh, this is gonna be the food pantry. The fridge, I'm playing around with the location of the fridge. This is a fridge filler. It's an actual fridge, but it's not the real fridge I'm gonna be using. I mean, it might be for a little while, we'll see, but I think I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna build out the wall behind that post. It is a little awkward in front of that post and I may have to notch that post out, or that no, uh, knee brace out a little bit, but I may not have to, so we'll see. Um, right here, this is gonna be the, the stove, fume hood here, countertop, kitchen sink, which incidentally I have right there. Looks like this, my good friend, Ben Wood. Hello, have you been Wood? Well, he is, and he... <laughs> it's a terrible joke. Um, anyway, 
he got me the, he and uh, his wife Rachel got me the faucet and I can't wait to show uh, show me installing that and using it hopefully not not too long I got gas lined up propane's coming in I'm gonna do the stub out here for that for the stove and for the hot water heater down below got a hot, hot water heater um, it arrived uh, got it through the plumber on the job site thank you very much Josh super good plumbing again if you're in southern Maine he's the uh, He's the authority on plumbing in, in Southern Maine. He's, he's really good and he's good to work with and he's wicked funny. So all of those things are great. Um, so I'm gonna be installing that hot water heater soon. There's a lot to do here. Uh, still quite a lot to do, but I'm making headway and getting there. Um, yeah, it's fun to look around. It's a little overwhelming at times, but it's also really encouraging at times. And I've been having a lot of positive feedback and a lot of help from people and friends. So, All right. Thanks for tuning in and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the episode. I don't know what's going to be in it. It may be just kind of milling around and chatting and a little bit of milling here and there. Milling, get it? Oh man, running water. I know you saw it last time, but it's really good. Okay. Thanks for watching.